Hello people and welcome back to Techie Anshi. In this video on Techie Anshi, we are going to talk about freezing panes in a Tableau table. Yes, it is very much possible to freeze panes in a dashboard or in a Tableau worksheet even without creating more than one sheets on your dashboard. So this is a cool hack that I want to share with my family. If you like this video, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Let's get right into this video. Let us begin by using the sample superstore data, which comes as default in Tableau dashboard. We are going to use this for the purpose of this video. However, you can use any data source that you would like to. Uh, so here first we'll go ahead and build a table which is long, has some dimensions and some measure values. So like you can see, I'm pulling the order ID. Next, I'm pulling in the order date, making it a discrete value so that the date field is completely visible. Pulling in the customer name, the country or the region. Let's also pull in the state. Next, let's pull in the product details for which I'm pulling in the category and we'll also pull in the product name. Next, let's pull in the segment. And we can also have the ship date. Let's also convert the ship date to an exact date and then convert this to discrete value. If you guys want to skip this part of creation of table, you could just directly move to the next section where I will be covering the hack. So similarly, I'm showing how you can create a simple table in a Tableau dashboard. Here I'm pulling in all the different measures that I want to have on my dashboard. All these measures are towards the right of the table. Just make a note of this. Right, so here are all the measures that I need on the dashboard and then we'll go ahead and convert all of them to discrete values. And so now each one of them appears as a separate column in the table. As you can see, right, discounts, profit, quantity, sales. Let's change the discount to a percentage and I'm removing all the decimals. Yeah, now this looks better. The sales and the count of autos. Yeah, that's always one though, which is fine. Let's move discount back and sales to the front just to make sure that we cover the story well. So this is the sales, that's the profit, the quantity, what was the discount and the number of orders that we had, which makes more sense. Yeah, this is how our table would look like without any free spins over here. If I have to go to the right, I basically lose my order ID, which was on the left and I'm only able to drag this way, right? So this is like a small disadvantage of having a long table on a dashboard. Now let's quickly format this particular table or dashboard so that it looks better for which I'm changing some fonts of the dashboard title. Uh, let's also update the worksheet title, make it bold, white, and then we'll give it a shading of blue, which I already have like a preloaded color over here. Yeah, let's rename the sheet as well from sheet one to a long table or we could also call this as an order details table. Let's be back to the dashboard. We can center align this text. It looks better now. And yeah, if there is need of any inner outer padding, you could update that as well over here. I just want to see how the background would look like if needed but I don't think it's needed currently. So let's just change the fit width and the height of the dashboard. It fits in well on the screen. Yeah. Let's make the column a little bit bigger, like so that we can read what's in there as text. 
and there we have our basic table which has a scroll bar in the bottom uh, just to avoid the ABC in the end let's change the marks card to polygon instead yeah this makes it look much neater and better so finally we have the table that we need and let's do a little bit more editing on the header let's just give it a shading and also make the font bold and white and a little bit more wider as well yes this is perfect now i know a lot of you would debate that we could have just used banded rows to make sure which uh, value corresponds to which order id right so let's also enable that right so that there is no point of uh, debating on that right even if the rows are banded it is sometimes difficult to be able to track uh, that the values or the measures are for which particular id over here right it is a little bit difficult right because i just forgot what was it right so now let's go into the solution and let's do the transformation so for that i'm going to duplicate the existing table that we just built and then uh, let's just pull in the measure names onto the filter shelf once you pull that on the filter shelf this is the window that would pop up you could select the ones that you need you can select all as well i'm just selecting four but we could do more as well like you could have more on your table as well right uh, we don't need all these measures that we uh, had earlier so i'm just removing them from the table now let me pull in yeah let's change the marks to text and let's pull the measure values onto text and measure names onto the the column shelf sorry yes so finally now we have all the values over here if you notice on the bottom there is a scroll bar and that scroll bar is only applying to the measure measures only right let's just change the aesthetics over here and then I can show you how it looks like on the full screen mode. Yep. So now I have the values here. Let's duplicate the dashboard and pull this new table that we just created. Let's remove the existing one. Yeah, let's call this as freeze pane of freeze columns and if you notice the discount values are currently integer so we will fix it don't worry about it yeah if there was like a little bit more space over here and then you see the scroll bar is only over there so all your dimensions are on the left and your scroll bar only shows for the measure values Yep. Let's also go back to the sheet and then move the sales to the top. You could reorder them as you want, like the profit, the quantity or however you want it to be ordered. And then let's also check how it looks. Yeah, this is fine now we only have to change the format of discount which i'm doing right now just change it to percentage with zero decimal yeah which completes our table and this is how you could freeze panes so just one thing to make sure that you note that all the dimensions would be on the left and then your measures are the only things that would be there in the frozen pane or the freeze panes of your dashboard uh, you could also turn on like grand totals on top if needed that can also help you show the values much better yeah so when you're here you can see all the totals and then by each of those different order IDs and this is how you will be able to 
build your freeze columns in tableau without being able to use multiple sheets i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video if you did let's subscribe to the channel and also put a comment done so that i know that you just recently watched this video thank you so much for watching this and we'll catch up again on the next one see you everyone bye bye